Well, greetings out there in YouTube land and welcome to today's part two video featuring the contents of a local hot rod shop. It's a friend of, friends of mine own. Um, here's a 54 GMC truck that's been modified with a Chevrolet front grille because it's better looking. Um, 5.3 liter L, uh, LS engine, of course with aluminum heads and an aftermarket uh, G Plus by Ramjet fuel injection. You know this thing's going to get out of its own way. Brand new aluminum radiator, beautifully detailed bar wall. Let's go down the side of it here. I like the, I've always liked these louvers. Standard unchopped top. A lot of wiring. Body's as straight as an arrow. Almost a shame to paint it. I kind of like it the way it is. American torque thrust mags. The 12 bolt Chevy rear end with an alloy rear inspection cover. Leaf springs. Fairly conventional rear suspension, a bunch of parts, tools laying around, typical of a good workshop. Looks like they're running the emergency brake cables. Let's stand back here to get an overall look. Can't wait for this one to be on the road. These early Chevy trucks are among my all time favorites. Especially with that under the hood. And then the elephant in the room, I never noticed. Look at the chrome master cylinder and power brake booster. Good grief. You have to wear your sunglasses when you open the hood. All in all, just this is just going to be a beautiful truck. Brand new front wheel. Like I said, stay tuned and we'll have some follow-up videos on a bunch of these cars. Really nice straight 56 Chevy truck back from the paint department <clears throat> with a super nice uh, 383 stroker, aluminum heads, polished intake, beautiful headers. I don't know if they're powder coated or stainless. Another one under construction that promises to really, really be nice once it's on the road. The dash, pretty slick. Here's the rear suspension on that 56 Chevy truck, complete four bar. Coilovers, cleaned up axle housings, gas tank. Got a big box in the way here, so you can't see it all. But uh, we'll do enough follow up feature on this too once it's finished. Maybe go for a ride. I hope. Pretty slick. You gotta love the gussets here on the tubing to strengthen it. This first class work beautifully welded too. Now for all you lead sled fans, how about this jewel? 1950 Mercury four door with the suicide rear doors, push button handles, seriously chopped top, <laughs> and a baby car seat in the back. <laughs> a little premature. <laughs> Let's take a look at how that stop was chopped. It's never easy. Okay, there's cuts that were taken out to bend the posts so that they'd align. Beautiful alignment. Sections have been removed. High cuts. You can see it now, but once it's got a skim coat and primed, all of that will vanish. 
It's like Frankenstein's forehead with all the incisions and, and sutures and everything else that's required. It's a tremendous job. Once you chop the top, the top doesn't line up with the bottom because pieces are missing. This, this slanted piece is gone, so the top sits down and the lower posts are way behind it. So it's really a major job to expand the top to fit where the lower cutoff posts are. I know that some shops will charge up to $10,000 to do a top shop in a car like this. And from what I understand, it's worth every penny. Okay. Once again, this is a project underway. I love the hubcaps, the white walls. And this is the part here. Brand new LS engine. So this one promises to run as good or better as, than it looks. It looks like it's going to be air conditioned too. Got a compressor here. Probably be a while before this one's up and running, but I can't wait. Oh, grill's perfect. So nice. So sinister. The old Appleton spotlights. Just a classic old custom. Like the Hero Hata Mercury. Except I believe it was two dollars. Next on our cavalcade here is a 1942 Dodge truck with the salt flat wheels with black centers. Ford rear end, fairly standard rear suspension. They welded a smooth plate over the Dodge tailgate, which I think is kind of silly, but what they did and you can see the body is definitely not perfect but some really neat little design details but also some bondo that rattled out this is one of those trucks that's going to be kind of sneaky it's going to sort of look like a semi beat up old truck but it's got a secret that i'll show you in just a minute take a look at the interior Good looking seats. They match the color pretty well too, kind of a maroon leather look. Really nice redone dash. Modern dash insert. Got dynamat all over the place. Here we're on the front end of that 42 Dodge, and they have a very characteristic chrome piece. It's kind of cross-shaped. Comes down here and comes across, and it's it's really the, what would you say, the, the prime characteristic of these early Dodge trucks. This one doesn't have it, but uh, it's been ordered for it. It's over $1,000 for that piece, and so it will be added on, okay, as well as... Uh, Nice chrome bumpers, nice straight grills, LED modern headlights. You can see this body is way less than perfect. Lots of cracks, all to lull people into a sense of confidence. And now the secret will be disclosed. And here it is, a modern 5.7 liter Hemi engine. And my understanding is this thing is just blindingly fast, just ungodly fast. Hopefully we'll get to go for a ride a little later once it's finished and ready to hit the road. Engine could stand to be cleaned up, but that doesn't decrease the way it runs, trust me. So. Looks like Farmer Jones's 42 Dodge, but with some real uh, surprises under the hood. 
Here's another nice old Chevy truck. This one's a 1952 with complete LS conversion, poly fuel injection. It's first class in the engine department. And then when the hood's closed, it looks like somebody's old farm truck. That's kind of the new style. Not be real shiny and smooth and beautifully painted, but absolutely haul ass. This one was recently bought for a very fair price. Brand new rear end. Looks like a uh, nine inch Ford to me. And complete stainless gas tank. Four bar rear suspension. It's the five window cab. Really nice steering wheel gauges. Somebody was working on this and did pretty much everything right and they just lost interest or ran out of money. So the Hot Rod Garage has it. And now it's up to them to finish it. And hopefully it'll be sold for a tidy profit. Now it's a 56 Chevy. Complete chassis here. 8.8 inch Ford, four bar suspension. Put an extra positive traction differential here. But here's the beauty in this. Brand new cross member for the transmission, but look at this. That's not an LS, that's an LT, uh, like a much more modern, like a 2016, 2018 Chevy engine. Frames all sandblasted, ready to be painted. But can you imagine how this is going to run? What a gorgeous engine. You know, it took me a while to get to accept these coils on top of the valve covers, but you know, they have these covers, shrouds that fit over that. But uh, this ought to be a major surprise at the stoplight. And it look like a fairly stock old 56 Chevy, but it won't be. Let's go ahead and fire up the old 42 uh, Dodge truck. Look at that dash. Isn't that neat? Camera's having so much trouble focusing on that. This one's got a nice air conditioner, too, believe it or not. Nice mellow exhaust. They're going to put duals on it. This is just a single exhaust right now. I'm looking forward to a ride in this one. It's a monster.